Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and this is NHL on EA Sports, season number two. That's right, we have made it to the second season as we finished the first season for our last season for of the first time ever. This is the second time here on NHL, part of the history of the season. I'd like to welcome you back here for our new amazing part of the game matchups that we'll be playing for tonight. Lots of games are simple. Thanks to the Colorado Avalanche, they have already won the Stanley Cup Finals and they are the champions of our 2022 Stanley Cup. But who will be playing in the playoff position for the next Stanley Cup winner in 2023? Well, you'll find out after this regular matchup is over. But there's a lots of great changes that are happening here tonight. First up, we have the only Western and Eastern Conference matchup to start the game along. We have is the Minnesota Wilds facing on against the Boston Bruins. This is the first matchup that they will be playing for tonight here at TD Garden Arena. Here are the starting lineups for the three guards in position. We have his Karel Kaprizov, Max Zuccarello, Jared Spurgeon, and the other hand is Brad Marchand, David Pasternak, and Charlie McAvoy. These are your starting three groups here of the players that will be playing here on ice of the game. And now, it's time now to get to the ice and have a broadcast to start off. This time, I will have Mephone take over with the another secondary crew of Silver Spoon. And in the center of the ice here, from in between the players, will be OJ here to take along the hedge. So it's time to start the first game of the night here of 2023, NHL 23 of Season 2. Let's get the game started. I'll be back here for the post-game show. See you all later on the other side. All you guys. Oh yeah, it's time now. Our first game of the night of the opener. Hello everyone, I'm Mean Phone along with Silver Spoon and with OJ. This is NHL Hockey on EA Sports. This tonight is gonna be an amazing night to start the game. Let's get to work. Here we are the starting groups of this matchup here in between from the hand as Burgeon has the other players here. Along with the other player we have is Spurgeon, Matt Zuccarello, and of course we have uh, along the goalies that are defensive, Kapitov. Kapitov, the only man that has played here so far here the last season of the game. They have uh, lots of things to get things right around the board and take it right from the in-between from the puck. They got some skills out there that they're going to need help. First shot, saved me by Kaprizov. Kaprizov has his first game with this one as he's never Kukkonen on that. Right now Kukkonen has already got his first save here of the night. Here's Zuccarello, over to Kaprizov. It's stopped again. Jozic moves over to Bergeon. Links the board. New lined up change as they beat around the icing here for the Bruins. Now, catching up into Gazelle. Set a pass right to Marchand. Bring over the Forma. Forma inside, and it hits off the iron. That is a tough shot here that they always gonna go for. The tough shots are already always defendable on the player. They're gonna get this one a lot tricky than they have. And the whistle's called offside as Pasternak will have to carry the puck into the center. We have played on this great, incredible scoring right now. No score yet has been played. Right now, the Boston Bruins are back in the position. Clifton handles over to a wall. Charles it right to Forma. That moves over to back to Clifton. With the shot, that's blocked up in front. It's a great pass here, but you always got to keep an eye on it and try to get the one at the same time. Because if you're not going to get this well, you're going to have to have a hard time to find that player to look open. Oh, racing inside. Over to Bashanax. Oh, just couldn't get the puck here right in time. Forward shot. That's stopped by Fleury. As you know, that Kaponen is not playing here with this game. Right now, 
Hook up in Flurry as a now playing with the Wilds after playing with the Blackhawks last season. He is deciding to switch things up a bit and wants to go with another one. What a save made by Omar. Omar really well. Pressure out there like he never did. Players are set here in the faceoff. No score yet with only 4.45 left. And a back hit to the wins. Flings it right over to the bank pass. Taken from center. Almost went tipped out of it wide around the head angle. With the shot. Well then put, but not a great sign to make that case save of Flurry. Flurry really well at this point. Got a lot of things to say that this was a very tough one to kind of go with the between the hooks. Boston carrying around the airway. He goes right over to Frederick. Up to Zabroli. Just a minute of play in a first period. No score yet to play. Nozick went up with a bad pass. Taking the poke check here. Great defense though. And it went off with the shot. And it's off again. No score yet. It's been played. Tough teams matchup. They're going to need something else to go with. We'll take a quick break and we'll come back after this. We're back on ice right now. The second period is underway. With no score in the first period, it's time to set up again to start the second period. Me phone along with Silver Spoon, glad to have you with us today. The opening night is turning out to be one by one. By the first last season, it was the Bolts facing against the Canadian team here after they played in the Stanley Cup Finals. They have already played a lot of games here that they have already done. But now their opening night tip-off is turning out to be Berger on of the Bruins and Matt Ziccarello with the Wilds. They've got a great thing to make the setup here. Look along the back, along the wall. I mean, this really has to turn things out like he's never done it here before. And I think there might be one player that could definitely try to handle it all. Marchand takes the blocking pass. What a great stop. On a weak pass. They will have to restart here for a back from the beginning. Here's Bergio. Crosses the blue line. Going for 2-1. Oh, it's stopped up. And it's Zuccarello with the blocking the pass. In between players. Mark andre Fleury and Waldmark have gotten the players with the goalie here for tonight. There are some players that are going to get there in tough shape out there. There's a lot of players that they make it set up and make the changes that need to stop in the pass to make it over. I'll keep an eye on those two from Mark andre Fleury and the other hand of Omar. Got two guys. Inside, stop by Omar. What a great save on the Bruins. With just under 11 minutes to go, the score is still even. As you talk about that one here, the players are definitely making the great saves. They must keep it alive. Bruins wins it. Boston's got their own defensive on the end now. Win the wing. Flies over Bastionox. Block the pass and it will try to clear the ice. Now it goes back to Forbach. Clears back in the middle. Inside. Middleton with the step with the steal. Now moving over. Holdy over to Foligno. Finds over again. And broke it up. Oh, racing towards the other side. Trying to warp around the pass. Can't find an open man. You have to tell, but the open man needs to get there. They need something else to go right along the hedges. They need something else to try to stop their way down. Broken up the pass. Taking back. Almost went tipped in, but it was too close to call. Here's Coyle. Coyle over to Grezzo check. Split the shot. Oh, almost went inside, but it was too late. Too late to call that up on you. They need something else to try to pick their way around the board. It will be a tough one to try to save the day. Arben with the puck. Now over to Jahami. 
hook checked away. Pass broken up. We're perching down to a minute to go. Just 60 seconds to play on the clock. Erickson Eck over to Dahami. Minnesota back into the other end. Finds no sex. Trying to make a move. Can he get it in? No! Oh, it went off again. Great save opportunity by Fleury. Fleury's really well. He's got a great thing to try to handle off the board. And pressure makes it perfect. And that will end the second period. No score yet. We got a tough matchup. Almost want to make that one in. But it was too hard to handle. We'll come back after this one when we come back for after the break. Third period coming up next. A proud with pleasure. Ready for the final period here for the opening night here of the hockey game. Glad you're going to make us tour with us here for the game. It's now time to rise up in the third period. What a save by Omar. Another quick stop here by the goalies tonight. Did pretty well. Perfect out of range, but no problem left. Middleton finds over to Gurdero. The Bruins have their own spot now. Broken up, almost made it out. Merchant shot. Oh, the shot block was tipped over and onto the goalie. What a great stop here by the defenseman. They have it all down out there. They need something else to try to keep the pressure out there. And order to try to stop the defenders. Shepard's off. Put the shot. Glove saved me by Omar. Now Bourgeon. Try to fight his way. Runs it over. With the fuck? Oh, one time shot was a little too off the chaotic man. He's going to really have to pay out that point. Almost went around the goalie and we'll call the penalty call. Hall oh, in the move. Looking for a man open. Shot denied. Clifton right over at the forebuck. With the shot. Almost would have deflected in, but it does stay out. Looking over. Flurry will have to cover the puck here. And there's only 10.40 to go. Still no score in every period. They're tough now, and they really have to get there. Pasternak's got a really good one to keep the eyes on this open slot. He calls it the snipe. Snipe is the only shot that he has to make that one with a quick snip feed here on the other players. He could definitely find another one that he was looking for in open players. And he can fire right away with the puck and try to go over with the slot. I'll try to keep an eye on that one here later. Back to you guys. And we have a penalty call. That goes on to Connor Clifton with a hook. And that will definitely be a slash call with a two-minute penalty mark. With tough players, you don't want to try to slash it around. Because the player, on the other hand, they've got a lot of things that make this one a tough moment. And they've got to get there right in time. The Wilds are on the first time they have to start the power play here as they will have to take a look here in the opening of the night. Right now, the power play is on for the Minnesota Wilds to get the goal to break the chain. With a shot, and that one is taking over again by the defenseman. Great play. Rossi. And taking back is Baldi. Good fight back. Now it's Bergeon. Over to Zuccarello. The man, a wild defenseman, broken open. Has to get over it. Omar with the save. He's very good at that one here. What a great play run. Coil back the other way. Bruins looking for a chance to make the win in the first game of the night. It's broken up. Eriksson Ek breaking in from the between. That's a great help here on the defenseman, and the power play is over. Great stop here, what a pressure to keep it out. Number one goes down. Erickson Eck rolls over to Zuccarello. Looks over to Carlo. Broken over by Pasternak. He's got a long two and one. Oh, he just went way off the mark. Another save by Flory. Zuccarello back the other way. Shoots one and stopped by Omar. 
Oh, I'm not sure at all at this point. Two goalies are definitely turning out to be the best. Zuccarello takes it away. Just one minute left to play in the third. Marchand's got it now. Looking over. Debrusk right back over to Kaljic. With the shot, can he hammer? No, it went straight off too short. Bergeron, up with the rocks. It's saved by Fleury. Fleury's really well to take over his limit control. Players are in the high heels this point. No score yet. Need to look for the win to make it. Toss is up already, but Stumba takes the win. Kudera, right over again. No sick. Nozick trying to hold on, but he lost the puck. Taken over by Broden. The Minnesota is taken in control. And it's stayed beat by Omar. Smith, right back to Nozick. Nozick, can he do it? Oh, he just didn't have enough time to get there. Clifton, for a win. Oh, no, he went off too soon. Clifton has to get over it and no shot made. Wow, this is a tough breakable run. And he could have made that one a win to take it all. The overtime will be the first one to take a look here as we will have a quick break and we will come back right after this. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with you after this game of the intermission. All right, here's how they did here in the every intermission reports here. In between from the hockey range outside from left to right. Here are lots of total shots here. That was 11 for Minnesota and 12 for Boston. Only six hits has turned out to be Boston, but the eight was still pick up two points lead in the head. It turned out to be a very tough of breakable run. Eight hits in the game. Time on attack was only 10.48 the play here for Boston and 3.47 here for Minnesota. 89.5% passing was, was accuracy once or still. And only six face-off wins here for Boston. Only the penalty was gained over for Boston and a power play goal was not attempted to take the breaking the chain off the lead and with the power play in the other hand. There are no short-handed goals here, so we may have to find out. And with team comparison in between, they've got to find another way to get over it. Well, they might be tough now, but they are going to need to try to keep it open. If you're not going to succeed it, then you're not going to try to like keep the man on the attack. They try to work their way around, and he has to get over it right into enough momentum to keep it going. Now it's time to take over into overtime for the second time here of the NHL season. This will be the only tough ones to take the advancement to win the game. And if there are no goals, there will be a shootout game that will be happening right now. Let's get the game started. Overtime about to get set. Let's find out who will take it over. Boston wins, and we're on their way to start the extra period. Here are the three groups here, as right now Spurgeon and with, with Erickson Peck and Kaprizov, but he got the puck. Other players, Spurgeon, Pasternak, and another course here on Marchand. They got something else to go with in between the range that they need to get over. Time though is quick down, but they're going to need to find something else. Looking for a player open, finds Lindholm. That takes it back as Bergeon will try to reset it. Oh man, another heavy hit. They need that back. They're gonna need to try to find another one to get over it. Lost the stick, what a stop. Oh, and here comes the airway. Marchman, will he take it? No, he does not. The answer is no, Spurgeon comes to save the day. They've got a lot of things to go with. Holy, nice takeout, and no penalty call. Here's Ketchy, he is going to be right around it, with the backhand, saved by Flory. Now finds over, Spurgeon with the puck, 
just coming down to just a minute of play in the OT time. They are need some shots. Shots in between though. They got to get over with a comfortable look. Here's the Celtic taking over, catching with the puck. Here's a shot, and it's off the mark. Saved me by Flurry. Hardman with the shot to go for the win. Tough man's on him. Hardman inside. Covers off. Wow, went down that fast. We got a heavy hitters. Here's a two on one. Will he do it? No, he does not. And Flurry will hold on to the puck here. Wow, this is definitely a tough, interesting matchup as we've seen before. I know, to talk about that, they're going to need something else to go some help. Right now, the Broden has the puck. Under 30 seconds to play. Covers off with the puck. Looking over Erickson Eck with the shot. Nice save made by Carl right, Olmark. Olmark's very really well at the play this one. Here's a fast break to take the win. Over and again. Oh, went back too soon. Wow. And that was a tough call to use. And that might be a tough one to go right between. Just still have some, a lot of time on attackers. No score yet. If no scores are made, then we're going to shoot out. Four seconds to go. And the Bruins and Wilds are going to shoot out for the first time. We never see that coming, but there's a lot of plays in between the making. They're going to need some help. We'll get right into the shootout after this. All right, folks. The moment you've been waiting for. New season starts off with a shootout. We have never seen any game here in the shootout games before since last season of the first time forever and for this part of a new season of EA Sports. But this game always has to come up here with a bigger attackman change and try to take them down as they can. Now you know what I'm thinking about. There might be one of a couple guys that could be playing here for the team status. You might be seeing some a lot of a great doing it competitive out there to look for the goal at most costs. Jared Spagion, Hapis Lindholm, there may be somebody else here that could be going for another one to take over with the game. And we may find out who will have the first one here to give this one a try. Now here is the thing. There are only three box scores that will be playing here. Whoever gets the goal will be able to win the game. And the other team might need the chance to stop the players here from getting the goals to tie the game. Or they will have to do is to go in between from each lane if no scores are given. In between for a one for extra frames here with the shots. There will be too much to call for it if they have an opinion. Most parts of this game are just tough enough, but they may be a hard one to try to reach out what they have. Let's get started. The shootout game starts now. Here to start off first, this will be the only part of this player that must get this thing done. From the wilds is Baldy. Here with the puck, now releasing it over, taking his time, looks it in, great save made by Omar. That's what you always gotta do, when the players has it right, they're gonna get it done. The next one up is Pashanat, he waits, he waits, getting the look, oh it went tipped over the net, oh the top one was never gonna be the same thing. Our number one is coming in, it's Erickson Eck. Here's the chance for him, taking his time and no time to bring it over. Bergeron, Bergeron ready to go, he went, he gets it over, he goes in, oh what a stop by Fleury, very really well at that point, need to go find another one. Here's Kaprizov, he goes in, in the middle, Suits. saved me by Omar. Two out of three turned out to be a hard one in impact. Now here comes Marchand. He will have to try to make it snappy. Will he have more room? No, he does not. He's really a tough range out there. Could be another one to make it difficulty. 
Now here's another win. Taking me no ring. Oh wow, what a save me. And Omar had a lots of range to try to pick things up. Here's Crutchy. With the time to make. With a look. Shoots. Saved by a flurry. That's what you always do. Play hard and stay smart. Here's Matt Zuccarello. Here he comes. With the player. And he's out of range. No shot here, Tate. Now we we'll back over again. It's Hall. Let's see how he does. Looks it over. Inside. No way. He just can't believe it. Oh, that's tough now. We're going to be in here that long. Now here's Spurgeon. Will he have a more room? No. Great save made by Omar. Very play. Really playing out there. Grisak. Going to see what he can do with the time. Shoots. Saved by Flurry. Lots of great games to take over ability. Now that's what I really call the tough ones. Guterres up. Taking an ability. Wow, what a save. That really has to call for a heavy backup. Here's DeBrus. Ready to take his own. Shoots one. Scores! DeBrus gets a goal. And they have just finally made a win. What a celebration for the Bruins. Bruins are the champions. What an amazing run for the opening night. And that's what you call it, a shootout winner. With his time ability, Jake DeBrus, he really lifts it up. He had enough play near that long, and he just knows he got a great thing to take the best out of it with the first celebration of the night. Well, what a fantastic day and night. The longest game of the event. And your final score, the shootout win of the, of the Bruins 1-0. What a game, folks. And with the team comparison in between of the game statics, here's how they did. With Tufts 1's inability, first, second, and third are no calls, but just a penalty that turned out to be a hard impact. That might be a tough one you'd be always bet to believe here. And for overtime, this was all that happened here once more. Just another mistakeable of the event. And a shootout turned out to be Dave Brusque, a game winner here in the shootout game. Well, talk about this one, and that is going to be the end for our first game of the night. Well, as you tell that one, what a biggest event night that we ever heard here at Silver Spoon. I know, definitely to talk about that one. Really amazing game. Well, folks, your final score here as the Bruins makes the win over the Wilds. 1-0. Tune with us here for the next game as we will have the number matchup to take on as Panthers will play at St. Louis to face against the Blues. And as we will have is Greg Ferraro and, and Jay Sabalski here for the next commentator reports. This is me, Phone. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you all again next time. Now to close things off, we go to the post-game show to Son of Beast. Son of Beast, all yours. Good night in Boston. Me Phone, thank you so much for that one. What a fantastic run of the night. Longest game in the event that did turn out with a DeBrus score and made a goal here to play with the game. Lots of action tracks here in between from the runoff in between. Not to tell how this all turned out, but this was the longest game that everyone knows for sure. So I hope this turns out to be just like you've never seen it before. With some great shots, a well done deserve for the Boston Bruins to stunt out Minnesota Wilds. An upset score has picked up a defeat. Now it's time to present your three star players of the game here of NHL. Number three is Hamtes Lindholm with three assists. Mark andre Fleury, 15 saves. It turned out to be tough that he had. And your number one star, Linus Allmark with 12 saves. He's well parade and he just did it on his best world. Greatest plays in the making. 
so thank you for watching for the first game of the NHL game. I know it was very short, but don't worry, the clock will try to run down a little slow, and we'll see how this one turns out. So if you like what we do, make sure to subscribe to my channel. We'll have tons of more games coming up here on NHL games on EA Sports for the second season, as we may have another approachment to go right through. This is Son of Beast, and I'd like to thank you for watching for this part of the first opening night of the game. This is definitely a fantastic, one of our favorite games of Eastern and Western Conference. We'll see you again here for the next game of Panthers and Blues. As right now being instant, peace out everyone. For a while as the new season of NHL 23 Dial. See you all again next game. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.